Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire, and I'm here today to show you my ultra fast and ultra compact automatic crop grower. I'll just switch into survival mode and I'll give you a demonstration. If you look, um, get rid of that. If you look in my inventory, I have only 64 potatoes, and when I turn it on, start planting them. All you have to do is hold down the button you have assigned to place in crops, and this works for carrots and wheat as well as potatoes. I'll turn it off, and in just that short time, I already have 23 more potatoes. It's really simple how this works. These three dispensers are filled with bone meal, and this one in the back has a water bucket. Right now it's just the bucket because the water has been dispensed. When I flick this lever, it will turn on all this redstone and therefore power all the dispensers. And when a comparator is pointing towards a powered dispenser, it will send it updates. Now I know you may be thinking, but Emerald Fire, this was fixed. No, actually Mojang brought it back. So let me just get a dispenser out and I'll prove it to you. Here's a dispenser. We'll power it, put a comparator next to it, and the interesting thing is this only works when there are items inside. So I'll put inside some potatoes and it'll start spitting them out. And if you look right in the top left of my F3 screen, you will see that I am in the latest snapshot. So this is not a hoax. But anyway, why don't I show you how to build it? The whole design is only three by three by four, which means it's three wide, three high, and four long. I have half slabs where it doesn't matter if it's a full block or a half slab, but where there are full blocks, you do need a full block. So, first we'll put down the dispensers. We'll need to dig down a little bit to get the dispenser facing downwards here. And next we'll put the dirt right here and we can fill in our hole. Put two comparators pointing towards the bottom dispensers and one more dispenser two blocks back also with a comparator pointing towards it. And next we put the lever on here and bring the redstone over around here. This needs to be a full block. So like this. And here we'll need to put a repeater so we can put a block on top of this comparator, a full block here, and the redstone will power that dispenser. And next we'll need to put a pressure plate next between these two comparators so the water doesn't spill out. Finally, we'll take a hoe and we'll till the ground. Now it should be all ready. Let's get some potatoes and test it out. Oh, and of course, you'll need to put the stuff in the dispensers. And the water bucket back here. Now it's ready. So we'll just turn it on. And start collecting potatoes. And if you want to, you can put some water right here so the farmland will get hydrated and you will never have to till it. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.